Oh, hi there. Uh, I'm making this video because I have just heard that uh, HMV is closing down. Um, HMV Canada. Uh, not too happy about that. Uh, I guess I'm not really surprised, but it's definitely a bummer. Um, I, I made a video about uh, purchasing DVDs rather than downloading them before, and I still think that that's a better way of going about doing things because they are uh, little square boxes of propaganda and um, they shouldn't just be allowed to be downloaded recklessly on the internet of course um, the government can monitor uh, videos and movies a lot better if there's only one access uh, of getting them and that's through the internet because that's eventually what it'll be. Uh, copies of DVDs and VHSs and all those uh, will slowly break down and fade away while the internet supposedly will be there forever but the government can pick and choose what it wants to be available. Um, so movies they don't particularly like will just start disappearing even on the internet you won't have access to them anywhere uh, and they most certainly have their list particularly of old old films that they do not like they do not want people uh, understanding certain concepts um, and uh, ideas and certain uh, aspects uh, that old movies can provide uh, just it could be you know, like my dad knows a whole pile of old black and white movies that are just not available uh, for purchasing anymore, and it's a real shame because uh, part of history has disappeared. Um, some people don't really care because uh, they're cheap, they're stingy, they just they want things for free. They want to pay nothing or little for anything. I did make the point that uh, DVDs should be you know five, ten dollars. Uh, which I still think they should be, but um, I think just like food is heavily subsidized in Canada and in North America in general, I think um, also little boxes of propaganda, DVDs uh, and Blu-rays should be also subsidized. Uh, I think um, the retailers uh, should definitely be able to make a profit out of selling uh, movies and music. And I think uh, it should be one of those institutions that uh, is able to provide um, adequate uh, pay for their employees. Uh, I mean, you can't just wave a magic wand and, and get what you want, but I'm just like, I don't want to download movies. I want to go to a store and browse for my DVDs, okay? I'm not stingy. I'm not counting every dollar in my pocket. I don't want to live in a shoebox where I don't have any possessions. I, you get these people going, oh, don't leave your carbon footprint on the world and blah, 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 blah. Well, guess what? If a fucking comet comes here, then what are you going to fucking do then? Carbon footprint. Uh, that's a nonsense argument. Well, now that HMV is, uh, on its last legs, uh, what's left? Best Buy, London Drugs, some small indie uh, DVD shops. That's about it in Canada. I can't think of anything else. Uh, and I was an avid DVD collector. I really loathe downloading uh, DVDs. I would much rather spend money on them. I mean, uh, you got a guy on the TV saying, uh, who wants to spend $21 on a DVD? We don't have to spend $21 on a DVD. There are plenty of perfectly fine DVDs that you can pick up for $5. Uh, you're just rushing head-on into this living in a shoebox mentality. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm very perturbed at the moment. Uh, I, I don't like this at all. Um, yeah, um, also, uh, certain things are also going to disappear, like 
you start looking up uh, DVDs about uh, hockey, for example, NHL, they don't exist anymore. Uh, even um, uh, Pittsburgh Penguins versus San Jose uh, Stanley Cup Final, which wasn't a very good series, not entertaining at all, unavailable. You can't get it. Well, you can, but uh, you have to order it online, basically, and uh, because nobody buys this sort of stuff, uh, they watch it once and they lose interest. Like um, I watched um, the Canucks versus New York Rangers. That's available on YouTube. I'd rather have a hard copy of Game Seven. Um, as a Canadian, uh, it hurts. It hurts a lot. But uh, it's important to remember um, the Canucks uh, Maple Leafs rivalry, or not rivalry, rivalry was uh, better back then. Uh, hockey, as a matter of fact, was better back then. Uh, sure, some of the commentators were annoying. Sure, the graphics were cheesy. But uh, you know, I just I don't I'm not really entirely satisfied with what hockey's become. Okay, so you get some really entertaining games from Chicago. Um, this year, Columbus is, is really entertaining to watch. Uh, and you get a few entertaining teams here and there, and a lot of cool stuff happens, but it was better before. Anyway, that's sidetracking. Um, yeah, as a form of protest for HMV closing up, I'm going to... Um, pick and choose a video clip from uh, my DVD collection which I know is not available on YouTube to watch or um, some of them you can download but uh, you know it's not so readily available a lot of people just don't think of these sort of movies to uh, download but I'm gonna put them on my Facebook page uh, I'm gonna use my iPhone and uh, I'm going to film them on my computer as protest of why videos on the internet is a bad thing. Uh, it leaves the, too many open doors for corruption and um, you, anything could happen. Someone could come up with a malicious virus that uh, eats uh, particular data given off by a particular movie. Uh, just uh, Maybe just the pigments in the video is enough to set off um, a, a dinner bell for this uh, malicious software virus. I don't know. Anything's possible. All I know is that this whole plan is, uh, is to screw people over. And if you don't know you're screwed over, you go, la 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 la, I'm just some idiot. Ooh, I get something for free. I'm happy now. The government's got my best interest. No, it doesn't. They always have their best interest before yours. And my assumption is that they want to control the propaganda machine to the full extent. Um, they don't want uh, DVD music companies to control propaganda. They want to control propaganda. You control propaganda, you control how people think, what they think, and what they can possibly know given their age. I've made videos talking about that before. and. Uh, uh, you know, like, uh, I've bought many DVDs that aren't available on the internet. Um, I just uh, picked up one, uh, Ren and Stimpy. Uh, you can download it, but it's kind of choppy, and there's only one source, and it's uh, not all the episodes work, and uh, not available on TV. Uh, I'm sure they came out with VHS as many years ago. Um, I just like having Ren and Stimpy around. Okay, Ren and Stimpy as a TV show has its problems. And uh, it's definitely not meant for a young audience. I was young when I watched it. I shouldn't have. I should have watched it when I was older. Um, but I, I like having it in my collection. It is still shrink-wrapped. So I might actually keep it that way for a while until I can think of a reason why I should open it and watch the movies. Um, yeah, uh, I remember Ren and Stimpy quite well, so that's one thing. Um, 
Yeah, so all in all, I think it's an Asian conspiracy uh, to download movies as opposed to owning them yourself. I mean, in Asia, there's a billion and a half people, over a billion and a half people. They all live in shoeboxes. They share beds with each other, like, you know, eight hours of work, and then you just trade off, and someone else sleeps in your bed for eight hours, and you trade off, and you're back in that bed. So you got that other person's stink and skin cells and hair and body odor uh, on that bed. I don't live like that. I live in a house. Uh, I don't want to feel like I live in a shoebox. Uh, if you want to feel like you live in a shoebox and have all your possessions, as far as movies go, on a little tiny square or a laptop or something like that, then you're a schmuck. Who cares what you think? You're a douchebag. You can tell I'm visibly pissed off. I'm not happy. I don't like it. And I'm not one of these people who can't handle change. I can, I, you know, the right kind of, you know, changes uh, can be a good thing, uh, but if you're going in the wrong direction and I can sense it, then I'm not liking it. But, uh, it's not a good thing. Um... Well, um, yeah, um, don't know what else to say about it, really. There's nothing else I really wanted to bring up about this subject. Uh, nothing else I really wanted to talk about. Um, it just, this sucks. It sucks worse than anything that's ever sucked before. We must find this butthole who's towing our TV. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Have a good one.